I received my start in education back in 1994 in the Bay Area in Oakland, California. And I was working in a program called Upward Bound. It's helping students go to college. But every year I saw more and more kids falling through the cracks. I didn't know what to do about it yet. It's not till almost a decade later that I opened my own school out of a garage called the Making Changes Freedom School. We had that for about three years. But then I still felt like the kids that are gang involved, they're kind of considered the throwaways of society. I wanted to do something about that. So we began a program three years ago called the Homies Empowerment Program. And really it's to help kids that are gang involved, that are gang active, see themselves as real heroes, see themselves as warriors, and do something different with their life. I came as an immigrant uh, from Mexico, came at the age 11 to the city of Compton, California. And I didn't have a choice because if I didn't say I was from a different neighborhood, I could seriously be jumped or hurt. So I hung around, uh, I hung around um, a lot of people that were gang involved. I was doing a lot of criminal activity that I'm not proud of, and I paid many prices for that. Um, I was also drinking and doing a lot of drugs and in a lot of pain. I didn't know I was suffering PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, through a lot of family pain and also pain in my neighborhood, and those were my coping mechanisms at the time. So by a miracle, I applied to UC Berkeley. I was accepted. I had no idea where Berkeley was or what Berkeley was. And arriving in the Bay Area has just opened up a whole new world. And I think once I received those opportunities, all I wanted to do was to give them to a whole other generation that seems to be either ending up in prison or in cemeteries at a very young age. Once I started working in an after-school program, I'd always see the kids not coming to the after-school program. And I'm like, I want to go across the street to that liquor store and talk to them. My bosses would always say, we can't. We have to serve the kids that are here. So I was always dreaming about how do I serve the kids that don't want to be here. And I started just getting involved. I started working at Fremont High School in Oakland. Later, I moved to Richmond, California, and I was working at a local elementary school right across the street from Richmond High School. And literally, is being on the block, um, serving kids and meeting kids and understanding what their needs are that I began to realize we have to create something different for them. When we think about gang culture, gang culture is so much a part of American culture. Think about the Godfather movies. Think about Al Capone. It's so part of Americana and of Hollywood. It's not a Latino thing, it's a universal thing. And it's, I think young people are looking for rebellious role models, you know, and also a sense of belonging. So many of the programs out there are gang prevention and they don't understand that gangs could be second family units. So when you have a family that's dysfunctional, you don't disband the family. You make the family healthier. So what we've been working on is making healthier families. Imagine this, a peaceful gangster, that a gang member could still be a gang member in his or her neighborhood, but taking care of their community and not hurting their community. That's what we try to do at home. As I've been working with kids involved in gangs, they only want to speak to me about their gang. They don't want to hear about anything else. Kids that tag the Roman numeral 14, they're representing Norteños. And the Roman numeral 13, they're representing Sureños. Well, I started teaching kids that they don't come from Rome. Um, and they, they actually have their own numerology, Mayan numerology. This is the Mayan numeral, excuse me, this is the Mayan uh, number 14 for Norteños. The Mayan number 13. And these are two border brothers or two border sisters from the Aztec calendar. These are the three biggest gangs in Oakland, California. What if we could see them united? What if we didn't turn against each other, but to each other for support? Imagine how powerful we'd be. I average about six to 10 funerals a year. And I average about one to two graduations. And I'm just sick of it. Um, so I just realized something needs to be done and why not do it? I, I don't know how many years I have left on this earth, but I might as well try start something different. If I can just say this real quickly, we began with knowledge of self, meaning who am I? I work primarily with Latinos, and why not teach them Latino history? It's not a novel idea, but there isn't a single school in Oakland Unified School District that teaches Latino history. I have to show up after school with a shopping cart, and I teach it after school at Fremont and Castlemont High Schools. To me, that's criminal. When kids don't know who they are, it's easier to hate someone else, and it's harder to respect someone else when I don't respect myself or know who I really am.